Hi, the homework I need you to do today is going to be your design, task one, design your website. Now you've started your website, so you should have a clear idea of how they're going to look at the end. What we now need to do is get that on paper, and this project lets you do that. You've got a lot of resources to help you find the language to use in this report. As we scroll down, the first part is your proposal. You write me a paragraph or two telling me what the website's going to be, who it's going to be for, and what's going to be in it. Then we need a site plan, that's a top-down diagram showing us the structure of your website. Moving down to the house style, you need to tell us the colour scheme, how it's going to be balanced, how you're going to order the pages, show us sketch designs of what it's going to look like. On the house style, if you can look at the colour scheme designer, this will help you choose your colours. Make sure that you copy the detail from here and put that onto your house style. Another thing to help you write about it is this page on basic colour theory. If we just scroll up the page now, there's lots of different ideas telling you the different colours. Now, going back to our main page, the last thing that we need are your page plans, your sketches. Each page, just five of them, you need to annotate where everything's going to go, giving us a hint of the house style. And the last bit of the marks, don't forget to have a look at the marks. A distinction is your accuracy, the level of detail. Merit means it's reasonable and someone else can do it. Pass means you've got all the bits there. So let's have a look at an example of this. Okay, so here's the proposal. Scroll down, keep scrolling. And here's the top-down diagram showing the structure. Notice it's all done very professionally. Keep scrolling. Here's a list of everything that needs to be on the website. And notice the author said when they've done them. Keep scrolling, please. And here's the detail on the house style. Notice the colours are very clear there, and they've described the fonts and the size of them. And then the last bit to scroll through are the page plans. Nice and slowly. Okay. Here we are, here's some examples of annotated page plans. Just outlines, but neatly and professionally done. Scroll down, let's have a look at the others. As you can imagine, this is a distinction level piece of work. So, your homework, get that done after these couple of days. Thank you.